Hi, this is Strong Castle uh, uh, Comics and Collectibles. I like to talk about facsimile copies. Um, become a, a new rage over the last few years, and I, as a as a long time collector, uh, I've been collecting for a long time, a few decades. I think I think facsimile copies are, are a good thing because they allow newer readers to see and experience older books. So I've got a stack of a few, some Marvel and some DC ones here. I want to go over like, um, now I know that, you know, some people enjoy trades and you can read the story in trades. But what I like the most about the facsimile books is that they have the old ads and they have the old letter pages in, in the case of the Marvel stuff, the, uh, the Bolton, Bullpen, uh, bullpen, bull, bullet board, the, whatever, uh, the, the word, where they would share information and you could see things about uh, upcoming books and it preserves the books in a way that, I said, you know, for instance, uh, Amazing Spider-Man 121, got the Gwen Stacy, it's a key book. It's... A, poor, uh, a bad copy is, is a couple hundred books. And out of some new collectors, it's out of their hands from ever getting. So I think that it, it's good. You know, this way they can see the books. You know, and it has a 399 price point and stuff, so you can't, you know, you really can't mistake it. But, you know, you get things like, you know, Death of Gwen Stacy. Death of Norman Osborn, as temporary as it was. The first Punisher. I'm not a big Punisher person, but I know people out there who love Punisher or who this book is out of their hands. First cameo Wolverine. You know, people out there are big Wolverine fans. And a you know, big one, Hulk 181. Uh, a 9.0 graded Hulk 181 is more expensive than some people's houses. You know, I've seen sales for, for $180, $190. I'm sorry, $180, $190,000 or more for this book. And newer fans will never have a chance of... There have been reprint books where they reprinted these two together called Hulk vs. Wolverine. And even that one I'm thinking of came out in the 80s is a bit pricey. Jean Grey becomes Phoenix. Another good uh, part two of uh, Werewolf by Night, the first appearance of of um, Moon Knight. Books like this that are out of the hands of a lot of newer collectors, and even some, you know, even some veteran collectors. I don't have a Hulk 181 or Hulk 180, but then I'm not a big Wolverine person. Um, you know, DC does it too. They've got a, a Batman 357. This is the first Killer Croc. And in the first reprint of the of the uh, first chase and top, they have a big facsimile edition on the side of it to differentiate. DC also does the one where they've got like shiny covers. Uh, My Greatest Adventure, which is the first Doom Patrol reprint of Vengeance of Bane, which I know honestly you can pick up, not that, but I, I like the I enjoy the front or uh, Batman 181, first Poison Ivy. And again, this is some things that are that some collectors would never be able to afford, or just want to read stories. Now, I do know, you know, I, I heard there's supposed to be a facsimile copy of the Jim Lee X Men number one. Honestly, I think that's a waste. I mean, there were six million copies of that book, and if you look in a dollar bin of any store, you can find it. And I understand there was a reprint of the first print of Spider Gwen. And uh, unfortunately, some unreputable people are selling the facsimile copies as originals. But you know, early models, you know, for some of the more modern books, I'm not exactly a supporter of them doing that. You know, unless they had the big facsimile edition like DC is doing on it. You notice the Marvel doesn't, and they're just like 399 price tag, and hope you know it. 
But again, you get Miles Miles Morales Spider-Man number one facsimile copy. If you don't know what you're looking at, someone may mistake that or the first Spider-Gwen as the real book. But, you know, I enjoy the old letter pages, the ads, the old Marvel books. They would put like little blurbs in the bottom of upcoming things. You got the Charles Atlas ads. Um, the old uh, Olympic sales things. You know, they show the, they credit the original artists and everything. Um, you've got uh, you know, all these all these things that I find really interesting. Both both ends, Spider Man's Spider Web. You know, the old Foom ads. Uh, there are facsimile copies that came out recently of Action Comics number one. So people can, I mean, how many people are going to have a copy of Action Comics number one? So you can read, uh, I believe Mike Cannon is is, in, is inside there also. But you can read all those stories. You can read the Detective Comics 27, you know, the first Batman. Uh, Batman number one with the first, you know, you know, you see the books with the first Robin. Things that, books that are completely out of people's touch. Um... First, uh, there's a Cat Marvel event, Cat Marvel Adventures comic, with the first Black Adam was was printed a facsimile copy before the movie came out. Um, there's an upcoming uh, uh, book with the JSA, which uh, I would you know love to see the original JSA from the Golden Age. So that for, appeals for me. I said some people are not necessarily fans of facsimile copies, but for newer people in the hobby, or people who just, like I said, you know, first parents, Wolverine is out of the reach unless you buy a really ragged copy or you get lucky. And for a lot of fans, that's how they're gonna have to deal with until they can get rid of me. So, anyways, I'd like to hear anybody else's opinions. If you wanna talk in the comments, uh, if you wanna share this video, maybe you like it, put me in the algorithm a little more. Um, anyways, this is Stormcastle, Stormcastle's uh, Comics and Collectibles, and thank you for watching.